Hello, my name is Ethan Schuler, and I'm going to be presenting on the vacuum table. So, the reason why I wanted to create this was because my I have been recently making foam board planes, and I printed out the plans from flight tests and place where I got the planes and I cut them with a razor blade and it took a long time and it was really time consuming and I really just wanted to be able to fly the planes so I ended up um, cutting them out on my CNC machine which is right there and my CNC machine it was quite tough to hold a sheet of foam down, foam board down because the plans would use up a whole sheet of foam. So what I came up with was making a vacuum table. And my hypothesis for this vacuum table was that this project would be inexpensive and it would be made and it would um, be able to hold a sheet of foam board down to the CNC machine in order to cut out planes. And the problem that I had was what was the easiest way to make the most inexpensive um, vacuum tape. So, and the materials I used for this um, is PLA filament, which is the filament I use in my 3D printer. Um, I use screws, pegboard, uh, a 1 by 2 board and I also used some tape you can use any tape I used aluminum tape and then you can if you don't have a 3d printer you can use the library's 3d printers it's free to use the library's 3d printers you just send your file and in and have them process it and come back in a week or so depending on the weight and you'll get your 3D printed part. You need a vacuum of course, I used the Grizzly from, I think it's a Harbor Freight vacuum, and then you need an impact driver, a drill, hot glue gun, glue sticks, and I use some plexiglass because it doesn't have any pores, it's very smooth. So I started out with a sheet of plexiglass at the bottom, and obviously first I constructed a plan, found different materials around the house, I didn't want to have to go shopping for any of the parts. So everything that this was made out of came from around in, in a few barns or where, wherever. Uh, then I designed a 3D printed hose adapter. Uh, in Fusion 360, you can see it on the finished vacuum table there, and in the CAD model. Uh, so, first, very first thing I did was I cut a piece of plexiglass, put it down, screwed it down firmly. First, I pre-drilled it, or else it would crack the plexiglass. Uh, then I took the cut pieces of one by two and placed them around in a pattern to see what would work the best and then after I did that um, I placed the top on there, slid the uh, print part in there it takes about, I think it took about six hours to print so I don't quite remember but I slid the printed part in there and then screwed it all down and then the last thing I did was go over all of the cracks and crevices with hot glue to ensure good seal. And then the holes on the pegboard where the, um, where the air could escape through, like where the um, foam board wouldn't be covering, I covered with tape. So that is the procedure. The, the results were um, actually a lot better than I expected due to the vacuum being quite underpowered, I thought. It held very firmly. I've got a video 
I'll show here. board holds down firmly to the pegboard a lot better than I expected. The vacuum table held the foam board very firm. And you can see the different planes that I've created of the cutting and how it held down and all of that. So as you'll see in this video here, the foam board holds down firmly to the pegboard a lot better than I expected. The vacuum table held the foam board very firm, and you can see the different planes that I've created. In conclusion, this project was a great success. It cost under $20 and held the foam board down perfectly to the CNC router. I made tons of planes. You can see back here I made many more. I think I made at least five. That's just three of them. Uh, I would like to improve the vacuum power by getting a more expensive vacuum in the future and maybe possibly making this whole, this vacuum table take up the whole entire CNC machine uh, cutting area. Overall, this project was a really good success. The modifications that I did to this uh, were adding this L bracket right here. This helps to make it so whenever I put a new piece of foam on the vacuum table uh, it's in the exact same place so I don't have to re-zero the axes on the CNC machine. Uh, this is very helpful for uh, doing multiple sheets of foam at a time so when I have like planes that take up a lot of foam it's very helpful. So that's it. Here's a video of the disassembling of the vacuum table. Just unscrewed all the screws from under the tape. Here's what's underneath. Custom 3D printed part. I'm working on the fingerless file right now. There you go. So, just a piece of acrylic underneath or whatever. This works. Right here, I'm giving you a little overview of my uh, vacuum table. I've got, I'm showing you right now the vacuum table in action. Right now, it's cutting out one of my foam board planes. Gonna kind of give you a little look here on what what's happening with the machine.